Oh, God. Triple zero prizes. Dumbass, these are our freaking phones. Oh, yeah, totally forgot we put them in there last night. Yeah, that was the best idea ever, to stop us from drunk texting. I don't know what I would say to my mom if she caught me what I texted to her again. It was hard enough last time when I couldn't even remember what I said to her. Yeah, well, when you're drunk and you take your friend's phone and it only has three numbers in it and two of those people are in the room, who else am I going to text? Wait, what did you say? I said I'm going to get breakfast. Bye. Oh, hey, I found my camera from last night. I wonder how those pictures of Steve came out. <laughs> Hey, who's this other kid in the background? Oh, guys! You know, we always want a second TV. Oh my god! So we can watch Star Wars and Lord of the Rings at the same time? Now we can. Dude, you found our TV! Wait, you said you bought the TV? Yeah, I bought it. Damn it! This is our TV, isn't it? I. Well, the. I just thought it was his good chances that he just had another TV that looked just like ours. He sounded totally legit. He told me it just fell off the back of a truck. Well, we have the pictures to prove who stole it, so let's just head out to the calf. That'd be a good plan, except that he kind of took off as soon as he saw the TV. I can't believe you're such an idiot. You didn't notice you bought your own TV back. Whatever, it's here. Just plug it in so I can play Call of Duty. Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, come on! It's hollow. We scrapped it for parts and then shoved it. <laughs> More like we zoomed the gears because we noticed they bought their own TV that meant it weighs nothing. I just figured that it didn't weigh much because I had been spending all the time at the gym. <laughs> that might be believable if you actually did anything at the gym. You just work at the front desk, man. Well, just yelling at me isn't going to do anything, so the TV sucked anyways. Let's just go buy a new one. I don't even get it. How did neither of you have money? Why did well, you say that before? Well, it was your idea, so I assumed you had money. Me? I don't even have a job. I thought you worked at the gym. No, I used to work at the gym. I quit. It was way too stressful. Besides, didn't your grandmother just wake up from her five-year coma and write you a check for all the birthdays and Christmases she missed? Well, you remember that time at CVS? You know, where I parked a little crooked? Yeah, I got a ticket, and I kind of had to spend all grandma's coma money on that. A little crooked? You were taking up all four handicap spots. <laughs> well, I was in a hurry. I need to buy toilet paper. The store is about to close. We already had toilet paper. No, we had the cheap crap. I wanted that extra soft seven-ply paper. Not that crap you buy that's like, I sneeze on it, just disintegrates. It's called being frugal. If you knew what that word meant, then maybe you'd actually have some money. Well, I don't see you walking around with money hanging out of your pockets. Either, so don't give me advice. I already told you, I spent all my money already buying back our TV this morning. Oh wow, good job on that. Was that the old power supply to my computer? Power supply? Battle miss. It's all the same thing if you two don't stop arguing. Seriously, this whole TV thing is tearing us all apart. C Chris is right. We can't let this TV thing take over our whole lives. We should try going outside and be social for a change. To, to being, being social! social.